Welcome everyone to Ace and Maverick. Today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to make this little guy. Um, essentially I just set this little base up in creative mode to go over a couple of the key little features that I've found a way to make happen to make your base look a little bit more unique and more inspired by you and that kind of stuff. Thinking outside the box here. So yeah, this little base just kind of it shows a couple of the key aspects of that like uh, this pillar action here with the walkway that you kinda have to make happen and obviously the floating floating landing pad with these support beams a little bit different style just to make it spice it up a little bit so we'll get right into it make it quick for you imagine this being your initial home base start I'm going to do it all in black this time so you can kind of see the difference. Um, don't mind the close quarters. I'm going to run out of room if I didn't put it so close there. So I'm just going to start you know, from scratch and build it as I go. And I'll do each piece though, like each key component that I'm trying to display off for you one by one instead of like all from the ground up. So at least you kind of get a feel for how it's supposed to get done or the easiest way to get it done, I suppose. Plus... Uh, don't really think that you could get it to work without doing it all kind of at once. So, I don't know. We'll see where it goes. So, yeah. Uh, what I start with normally is just the basic stuff. You kind of need your... main room set before you do the walkway like how I have it up here so we'll get that done first and then obviously it doesn't need to be halo doors but you certainly can use halo doors obviously and these doors would work just fine if you wanted to go that route with it for your walkway but I always like the halo doors for the walkways it just seems more patio-esque so all right, and then we'll throw this bad boy down here too for now. Oh, another cool thing I learned where we'll start off with this is um, this window here. I didn't know. See, when you do this, the T corridor, it doesn't have a window there, and there's no glass option. But I did discover that this window will certainly work for it. So that's cool. I just learned that yesterday when I was building this little base before getting it all set up for you. So take that home and chew it. I'm gonna make your. I actually have to go put that on my other base that I made in normal mode. Oh, another thing is, is I'm avoiding pieces that aren't available in normal mode just because. Okay, so to get this walkway going across here, you need the wall, obviously, and then you need these structural platforms. But to get to the wall to go kind of how you want it to, you got to use the cube rooms to get it started. And then you can't place the structure platform until you have the walls up, obviously. And it only goes to the top of the wall, so you kind of need to plan accordingly. So what I do is I just take a cube room and I'll place it in the area of where I'm going to do my wall. And then you'll go to your wall. And you kind of just use that to build up from, see, essentially the, the key thing that makes all of this happen is the fact that if you add a piece, delete a piece, or if you add, if you put a piece down and then you add another piece connecting to that original piece and then you delete the original piece, the second piece stays where it was. So that's essentially what makes all this happen. It's just the ability to make things go where you want and see how it's on the top wall. I put that extra wall there because I intend on having the walls like that. But so you can just drop it down. And there's that, and then you can delete these. I even delete the ones underneath. If you want to keep them so it has that support, that's cool. I mean, by all means, it's your base. But I like to do this for certain supports, and I'll get into how that happens here in a second. 
So you got your your first piece laid down now, and that's that's essentially it. You just use the cube room to get it started, and then uh oh god damn it! I like to have the lines straight like you're walking. All right, and then so you can just build it across. Super simple, right? All right, so there's your walkway. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now you can go back and put uh, the corridor back in. And there you have it. You got your walkway. Now obviously you don't need to put any of these support beams like I have here for the walkways. But it's something that I like to do. And if it's a short walkway like this, I mean on my main base, I didn't for the short one, but for my long walkway I did. But I'll just show you how to get it done. And that's essentially the same thing. You need cube rooms. So you do a cube room. And a cube room will always connect to the bottom of these walls. So if you got a wall going and you wanna, you know, build up from it, you can. And then see a good way to do it now is you have to delete one of the walls and you have to delete this thing because that'll be there. So you're just using what you have to place another item like that. And so obviously I'm gonna have to rebuild the walkway once I'm done. But you get your cube where you want it to be as far as where the pillar starts. And then you, you know, place the pillar underneath the cube because you can only connect the pillar to the cube. But once you delete the cube, the pillar stays put. Now, if you have whatever distance you have below the cube before the next item, that beam will span all the way down. So if you put your corridor back, basically if you just have whatever you want it to rest on below it already set in place, it will rest there, stop, settle, whatever you want to call it. I can't seem to find what I'm looking for. Okay. There. Oh, let's add that window back into because that looks nice. I like that a lot. All right. So you got your cube set up and you got what you want it to rest on. And obviously, if you don't want it to land on anything, you can have it go to the ground or whatever. But then you put that there and notice how it stops now on the corridor instead of going all the way through to the ground. I really like that they added that feature. Had it clipped through and gone to the ground, it would have been a real buzzkill for my cool base. So then, yeah, you delete the cube and look, the the pillar is still there. So then with that being done, all you have to do is go back to your structural stuff and put in your walls and your floor like you had before. And voila! You have your walkway with a nice little pillar now. And obviously if you wanted to do a pillar for every single piece, you certainly could or even the different style pillars like the ones with the four branches instead of just the one but that seems to be overkill plus when you're doing it like that the beams will come down into the corner of these and it kinda has a little bit left over so I just like the single it looks better <coughs> excuse me okay so next I'm going to go over so that covers the walkway and the beam. Next I'm going to go over this floating landing pad with the pillar support beams. Obviously you don't need the support beams. It'll float as is, however you put it. But I like to have it there so it looks like it's actually a thing, you know. It's like a real, real base there. So we'll go down and if I can, I always like biggest problem of mine with this game is I'm always cycling through this stuff like multiple times where I, I still don't know which way to go when I'm trying to find a specific piece all right so we got the one room two three four doesn't have to be four high it can be as high as you want I did one last night when I was messing around that was like 20 stories high or whatever as high as it would go and I, and I kind of thought about maybe making some sort of skyscraper or deal out of it. All right, so wherever you're for, or you're going to put your landing pad, and you don't even have to have it above a room like this. I just found it a neat concept to make it look like it was, you know, on the roof of whatever or floating above the roof. Oh, I'm out of the base now. 
Ooh, I'm still out of the base. Damn, cutting it close. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna have to go this way then. Um, normally I just do it on the back, but since I'm so close to the edge, that's why this is also so close to that other base, is because I'm running out of room. But what you do is you'll put a corridor, and then again, a cube room. It's pretty much all based off of like using the pieces to get other things placed where you want them to be. So you go over one, up two, and as you can see, that room is floating. You need a door to connect a landing pad to, so you'll want to do that. And use the regular door, don't use the halo door. I don't know if... The, let me try it. I don't know if a halo door would allow the landing pad just to straight hook to it. Oh, it does. Okay. So either way, whatever kind of door you want. And, um... I like to set this up to where my ship is facing the direction I'd like it to, because I'm all about making it look good. So to get my ship facing that way, this terminal right there has to be fa facing whichever way I want, and that's the way the ship will face. So it's kind of a pain, depending on where you're sitting, as far as getting it to go where you want, because it's hard to see the terminal. Let's see if I can see it from over here. Oh, there it is. Found the terminal. It's right up there on the corner. See it? Anyways. Um, okay, I have my landing pad. So what you do now to get your landing pad to float is just delete the items that you used to place it. And voila. Look at that. She's floating. And you can have it float as high as you want or whatever. Um, but what I like to do is add those pillars to make it look a little bit nicer. And so what I'm going to do, this is actually kind of a pain right here. Because I put those building pieces so close. But you just go, what well, I found to work the best. This corner post, unfortunately, isn't, it would be perfect for a lot of things that I'd like to use it for. But uh, it's not allowed in. Man, I really wish I could use these because I can make some sweet stuff with these. Not allowed in normal mode. Dumb. Stupid dumb. Okay, No Man's Sky. Hello Games. You should fix that. So, as you can see, I just use this pipe and we'll change the color of it so it adds a little bit of contrast. Um, what I do is I just line my dot up with the center, try to get the whole picture as evenly centered as possible and I just kinda walk it down then you can see it's clipping you're gonna wanna step it back I just as close as I can without having it clip try to keep it straight and then yeah obviously just stack it up and then it'll get to a point where it won't let you put another one because the landing pad is in the way and I'll go over that in just a second. And we'll go do this one more time here. So you can see. Find the center line. Center your, your building out in your frame, your image. And walk it down. Try to be straight about it. I was kind of drunk that time. Whoa. Right until it's done clipping, I tend to back it up just a little bit more. And I like to make sure that the line that I follow down is still kind of in the middle of the pipe that I'm placing. So then, yeah, we'll walk it up. And then it'll get to the point where it tells you in valid position, which is right there. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to do the other side because it's pretty obvious now how to do it. So then when you get to this point, you got a couple options. My original base, I did this. Oh, triangle is what rotates things, if you didn't know. But I did that because I like how it looks like it's kind of supporting it. Unfortunately, you can't do another one of these and make it go in there because that would be prime, like, right? But another thing you can do is kind of like this is what I did over there. I think that looks kind of neat, actually. And so we'll just do that. And you can have it facing out. Kind of looks like it's part of it. 
and you can even get wild with it and you know do some sort of something it doesn't have to be anything specific you can do whatever you want with this you can even you know have it go back down or whatever you feel like you wanted to do just get creative with it there's um tons of things you can do as far as what you want to do for these support like things and even if you wanted to say I think you can go as far as putting one of these bad boys in there yeah you know and you can do different size pillars I like these ones because they didn't cover the windows up entirely but uh, just give it a give it a play but yeah, so that's that. You got your support beams on your landing pad and all that stuff. Oh, I guess I'll show you how to just do that little T-section too. Add this door. So, halo door. And then it's going to kind of be annoying because of this scenario here where I have it all tight and close. But again... The cube rooms will go on the lower side of the walls. So then you can just use the cube room to get the walls to go where you want. Delete the cube room. Delete this extra wall. Then go to your structural platform. And there you have it. A little T-bone. Fun stuff. But that's all for now. Play around with it. You can make your own base however you want, obviously. But those are some pointers to get the pieces to do a little bit more than what they're intended for, I suppose. All right. And I just remembered one more thing, actually, that someone asked for as far as base building and requested and whatnot. They, I made a garage door, and they were wondering how I, or like a garage, and they were wondering how I did that. So, you get your cubed room going. You can just, what I do is I span the cubes for as big as I want the garage to be. So we'll just do three by four, so I can show you. You don't need all of the cubes. You only really need the ones on the corners actually you don't even need oh well, yeah okay so then <coughs> again use the cube room to get the walls to do what you want so I just do corner corner oh corner corner and then you can go ahead and delete the cubes cube room sorry if I'm not being technical enough and then you just bring down bring down the walls and bring them over obviously and there is your lovely garage now you might be asking yourself but there's no roof on this garage how do you make a roof for this garage? I'm not gonna not gonna really fill the whole thing in. You get the point. It's you know, you bring all the walls down and voila. It's a garage. So to get the rooms or the roof ceiling, sorry, you just use these structural platforms again. Just throw them up on top. And there you have it. Have yourself a nice garage in no time easy peasy and again it's just getting your your pieces to do what you want them to do instead of more or less what they were actually intended for and thanks for watching and I hope you learned something nice and if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below like and subscribe and if you have any more suggestions on a tutorial just let me know and I'll do my best to make it happen. Thanks.